All right, then, ladies and gentlemen, we move on to our next round this evening. He's in the 145 pound division in the amateur MMA circuit. This is a fighter fighting out of Fighters Lab Oslo. In the blue corner, welcome into the cage, Rebin Rashid. And welcome into the red corner, fighting out of Jim 01. Welcome into the cage, Nordin Netajai. Scandinavian coming over to face one of uh, Brian Adams, Jim Monsters, Nordin Najaj. Everyone's fighting out of the, or uh, in the black shorts where Najim is fighting in the, what do you call those, snake print blue? Yeah, Jake the Snake Blue will do me. Good, Beautiful. He got that Good. double, fence, lands in, looks like on. guard, Good. pushes him up one against the cage. Trying to posture, gets in. Take your time here. Take being in. There we go. Being active on his back, controlling the wrist, trying very hard to pull him in. Nordine just not having any of that though. Posturing up. Falls into side control now. <laughs> slides the knee on belly and straight into full mount. That was that was nice. He's looking to step over that arm, gives up his back. Does Nordine have to be a little careful that he's not too high up the body here? Do you, does he? Yeah, you end up just shaking and he comes right up. You reach up, grab a hold of that head, and you can stack him, and then you're the one that's in that positive position, but it looks like he's underneath the chin with one of his arms. And it looks, has he got the body triangle on as well? It looks like he's got the body triangle secured as well. Yeah, so he can't fall off now. Now it's just a matter of hand fighting to see if he can get that arm underneath the neck or not. Trying to loosen him up with a few body shots, shots to the side of the head. That's an unforgiving position, that body triangle as well. No, and he's smart because he's elevating the leg to where he can't get turned on and relieve some of the pressure. So it's, it's tight, it makes it difficult to breathe, and you can't really move anywhere. Soften him up, soften him up. And just continuing to pepper the body with those little shots, just trying to open up that neck. Rivent had tried to turn it to where he would take away some of the pressure, and when he did that, Nadine was smart and dropped his elbow to stop that momentum. But he continues to hand fight. Now Nadine's just picking him apart with punches. In this position as well, Nadine, I know he's staying heavy and staying on, but surely He's making his opponent do all the work here, take the weight. He's taking the weight, and also he's not able to take deep breaths because of that body lock. Uh, very dominant for, you know, you know, you could argue we've seen our first 10-8 round of the night. Possibly. Ready for round two. Touch your gloves, and let's see if Nordin goes straight back to what gave him the first round. Urban Smart comes up with an inside leg kick to start the round. He does look a little stiff, though, in his stance. He's blocking his chin, which is nice. He's really committing on that inside leg kick. But his shoulders are stiff. 
Nordim rushing for that takedown. I Pushes him against Cage. When I just looked like Rashi just got a little bit off balance when he overcommitted, and, and Nordim took that opportunity to bull rush him into the cage. Not going to happen if you're standing Ooh. in there stiff. Ooh. See, i got to say, they look like they. I don't, I, don't, I don't need to be in there to know that hurt. Well, it does. <laughs> And Rashid, you know, still trying to work with his back off his back off the fence. Tried to throw a knee to the body there. He's got that deep wizard, and he's looking to turn. He's got his hips down low, but the problem is it's setting up that trip, which he was able to step out of. Nordin's head positioning there was very nice as well. Kept the head fighting, pushing it up. And straight on to the back. He's got a head and arm. Oh. Slipped out, gave up his back, positioning wise. See how Nordim works off his back now? Well, he cut right through the guard. He looks like he's staying patient as he's going through. Revan's got to posture up. He's got to start landing some punches. He's got the half. Got the half guard deep in that. I mean, he's, he's holding himself there more than. His hands are flat on the mat. I, I can see that Nadim's got his arms locked up, but he's got to try to fish those out and get those up on the shoulders so he can posture up and throw punches. Because that waiting and then slipping them out and then trying to throw punches, you're not able to generate enough force to cause real damage. Nordin, you, you know, you tell him just to hold on tight and the referee will stand you up. Is that what you'd be looking for here? I, I'd tell him, grab a hold of the back of the head, control the posture. He's doing it with the arm now. And just wait. Tommy's going to tell him to get some movement going, which he did. Tried to explode with the hips there, Roland. That's tough because now he's moved back to half guard and... There's a very rare time you'll see a, a referee stand somebody from half guard. Mm -hmm. It does happen more often than... Uh-oh. He's throwing up a triangle. And he's got it locked in. A few seconds left. Is it... Oh! Ooh, was that a... I don't know if it was a tap before the bell or after. Ruben Rashad fighting out of the blue corner. Nordin the job. Showing him that, showing him that kick. Oh, again with that inside leg kick, right into the guillotine. He's tight and he's under the neck. Nadine's hand fighting. Ribbon looks at his corner. Luckily, they're down right next to his corner, and well, as he's from Oslo, they can speak to him, and I doubt Nordine's going to be able to understand what they're saying. Yeah, not many people walk around with a passing knowledge of Norwegian. Do they? The biggest problem is, and you can see right there, that vein that's bulging. Yep. That's a lot of oxygen. And the head slips out. Now he's got to work. He's got to build back up. He can't stay on the bottom of this because he's going to lose this round if Nordine controls him. Yeah. Nordine pushing up, looking to try and get a bit of posture. Ribbon's smart. He's trying to control that head, control that arm, keep him tight. It's just his head's buried against the cage, and it's not the position you want to be in. Hang on one sec. Ribbon asked for a timeout. No, it was an up kick. Ah. When his knee was still down, apparently. That's fine. Tommy just having a quick word in your ear. Nadine's doing a good job of posturing up but not leaving any arms behind. Ribbon's trying to, it looks like, sneak that leg through to go for that triangle. So again, keeping that posture. Coming down to the final 60 seconds of this fight. Ribbon's smart. He knows that he needs to be not on the bottom, so he's really trying to create a bit of space. The problem is he's back to the same position and now Nordin's in side control with Revan's head smashed up against the cage. Just 
just under, just over 40 seconds left in this as well. And there's those knees to the, see, I, I think that's so underused in the amateur. There's a time for it. I know Rebin's corner's over there screaming about uh, elbows that were being landed from uh, Nordine. Not very happy about that. Nordine's got that real tight body, body lock. Slips him, both hooks, is really trying to take him down. Ribbon had postured up well. It looked like he was going to shake him off, but the fight looks like it's about to come to an end oh. with Nordine on oh. Ribbon's back. Fighters uh, Lab Oslo corner not very happy with the uh, what could be apparent elbows that landed. All right then, ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds, we have your winner in the red corner by a split decision, Nordin Najjar. Interesting. That would have been why it took so long for the uh, judge's scorecard to be read. It was a split decision.